CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you about how to properly sand your bowling ball. The first step that you're going to want to do in the process is go to the manufacturer's website and look up what they say they finished the bowling ball at. This ball in particular happens to be finished at 500 grit, 2000 grit. Now, why that's important is because the manufacturer uses multiple steps to end up getting to the final grit. This pad right here happens to be a similar pad that the manufacturer uses and is 500 grit. This pad right here is also a pad that is 500 grit, but it's the true cut pad. They don't look the same and they don't cut the same, and that's one of the big differences here. With the true cut pad system, what you're gonna be able to do is go right to the final grit number. You don't have to do that 500 grit step because you're gonna be able to get the 2000 grit by using the true cut pad. The process is very, very simple. You're gonna to wanna to go around the sides of the ball first and then go to the top, only doing half the ball at a time. You'll go around the side again, go to the top, we'll flip the ball over and do the other side the exact same way. What that's gonna do is allow you to get a fairly even and consistent finish. Let me show you how that looks, what that looks like. Here's the pad, here's the ball. Light pressure, nothing too crazy, just going around the sides of the ball. The reason why you go around the sides of the ball twice is because you can't put as much pressure on the sides of the ball as you can on the top. So, now we've went around the ball twice and we go to the top. Back on the side again. One more go around. Back on the top. Light pressure. Okay, there's a dust on the pad. The best part of this pad is you can hit it and knock the dust right out. Pad's clean. Flip the ball over. Same process. Around the sides of the ball twice. Like so, and then on the top. Back on the sides again. back on the top. Pads dusty. Pads clean. Last but not least, you'll want to spray and get the dust off. You can tell the ball's dusty. We'll spray the ball with a little bit of Wow Factor ball cleaner. Wipe it off. All we're going to do is just get the ball nice and clean. Flip it over. Spray it again. Wipe it off. And now, your ball is clean and ready to go back into action. Now you say, hey, that's great, Ron, but how often should I do this? Well, the truth of the matter is you should probably do this every six, every three to six games, depending on what you're bowling on. If you want to keep your surface as, as aggressive as possible, the more often you can do that, the better you should do it. Also, make sure you keep the bowling ball clean with the ball cleaner before and after competition, as that will also help to keep the surface on the bowling ball at its peak performance. You know, one of the other things that people always ask is, is man, well, if I have a 2,000 grit ball and I have a 5,000, 500 grit ball, are they, are they gonna roll the same or how much difference are they? Well, check out our other video to check out the difference in performance between a 500 grit ball and a 2,000 grit ball. Also, there's a real big difference between, hey, what happens if I go with the 500 grit, 1,000 grit, 2,000 versus the 500 grit, 2,000? Is there a real big difference there? Well, with the true cut system, there's not gonna be a difference because the true cut pad cuts at what it says it cuts at. So the 2000 grit true cut pad will remove the 1000 and the 500 grit, whereas that may not be the case with all pads, but it definitely is the case with true cut pads. As always, if you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.